the CUW women's volleyball team began their season with an impressive start. The Falcons won the Concordia Invitational Tournament, defeating both Concordia Ann Arbor and Concordia Chicago three sets to none on August 31st. It is the first time the Falcons have won the tournament since they hosted the event in 2010. These last two weeks uh, in training camp and working them really hard, we were super excited for our first matches and uh, we really played well and I'm really excited uh, for the girls and uh, we're excited for what the future brings. Last year we were kind of just there, it was the way beginning of our season, one of the first matches that we played and then now this year, same situation, it's the first matches but I feel like we have come back as an entirely different team and we really pulled it off, I'm proud of us. The Falcons winning the CIT marks the debut of head coach Janelle Gabrielson Katz, who served as graduate assistant to outgoing head coach Joe Colley. The Falcons managed to sneak into the conference tournament in 2012 with an ace seed. They finished with a record of 8-24. I was really excited for the season, but I you know, wasn't exactly sure how the first couple games were going, and to see them perform that well uh, right out of the gates is just really amazing, and I'm, I'm super excited to continue to coach them this year and see how we do in the future. I feel like all of our girls are finally connecting. I don't know if it's, you know, the new coach, I'm sure has something to do with it. I feel um, like I have more confidence in myself and my team. The Falcons came back from a 13-6 deficit in the opening set against Ann Arbor. The Falcons took that set and then dominated the next two for the win. Ann Arbor's sweep of Chicago meant that the Falcons could guarantee the tournament championship if they could win one set in their match against Concordia Chicago. The Falcons fell behind in both the first and second sets, but rallied to complete the sweep. We don't always rely just on one person, but we have an entire team to rely on. And I think for opposing teams, that di that's difficult to defend too, because you really don't know what's coming at you. Uh, we're communicating really well, working together really well, and it's just been a lot of fun coming out and winning our first games. The Falcons tallied 80 kills in the two matches, with eight players recording at least one in the tournament. What really worked for us was not being so predictable, not doing the same hitter every time or setting the same set every time. We really mixed it up and, and the girls did a great job at getting kills and, and doing their job. Junior Hannah Griffiths was named tournament MVP. She totaled 11 kills against Ann Arbor and 10 against Chicago. Griffiths was joined on the all-tournament team by fellow juniors Gabriel Van Beaver and team co-captain Britta Duco. I couldn't do it without any of my teammates. Everyone contributes just as much as I do. Uh, we have to serve, receive, and then the setters have to set, and then I have to hit, and then if I hit into the block, they have to cover. It's just a team effort. The Falcons next face North Central College and UW-Whitewater on Friday with a pair of non-conference matches before beginning Northern Athletics Collegiate Conference play on Tuesday at Edgewood College. Now we know how well we can play together, so um, this weekend we have Whitewater, which is one of the top teams in the state, and we're really excited to see what we can bring against them for sure. I think we have a great starting point, and now from here we can only go up, so I think that's really exciting. It's going to be fun. It's going to be difficult, but I think that our team is definitely up for a challenge. This is Nathan Kerner for CWFalcons.com.